Hi, I'm Electra here for Less for Music with the unbelievably talented Stephanie Fraser. I just want to dive right in. I want to ask you about your voice. It has such depth and such range. And when did you like first discover that you could sing like that? Um, oh my goodness. Um, well, I started singing properly. Like I know I wanted to do it when I was about 12. And I'd, I was playing guitar for a while. And I heard Eva Cassidy. And I just loved it. Like, and I loved to sing, but I didn't know if I was any good at it. So I just did like a few open mics, and people seemed to like it. Amazing. So at such a young age, you already knew what you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. No, I think my parents wanted me to be like a lawyer or like go and study English. And at one point my dad wanted me to go in the RAF, but I was like, <laughs> music. <laughs> and uh, what about songwriting? Because I know you write quite a few of your own songs. How did that come about? How did you discover that? Um, I wrote one of, my, one of my first songs when I was 12. And I was, I was really like mad about my best friend at the time. And that's how I started. I just was like, yeah. And, and release from your pain and anger. Yeah, and it just happened. Like, it just, yeah, definitely. I was like, oh. But, um, and then it just continued, continued on. I know you started very young, obviously from 12, singing, songwriting, but you first toured in Canada at like 15, I think it was? Yeah, I went over to Canada in 2000. I went to Ontario, so I went to Toronto and then traveled up nine hours north and stuff. And it was an amazing time. I played a festival, um, met loads of incredible people, met some of my best friends out there, like really, really good. Now I know you went to Leeds College of Music. Just wondering, what do you think you've learned there that you've taken with you on the road? Um, well, I think I've developed a lot. It's given me a lot more confidence. Um, I've met some amazing people. Um, I've had the, the opportunities to record. Um, it's just been like a learning curve for me, like just knowing what my weaknesses and what my strengths are and all the tutors helping me to develop all my strengths and stuff like that. At 15, you already started. Now, a couple of years later, how do you think your music has developed? How do you think it's changed from back then to now? Um, how do I think it's changed? I think my, I think my voice has developed a little bit, obviously, just because I've got older. But I think that like, having more life experience has just helped with the songwriting a little bit. Um, and I think I always struggled with what kind of direction I wanted to go in, and now I've sort of got a bit of a better idea in what I want to do, and sort of a long term, more long term plan. Does the songwriting come easy to you sometimes, or do you come up with lyrics first and then the melody, or is it just interchangeable and it changes? Yeah, it changes all the time, and sometimes you can have a long time um, not writing a song, and you're just like, why is this not happening? Have I lost it? Um, I do a lot of co-writing as well, which I enjoy doing. So now you have a record deal with Island Records. What was that like? Because I heard that they actually went searching for you. Well, yeah, sort of. It's just <laughs> been, that's like a true testament to your talents. I mean, when a record deal comes looking for you, that's, that's a big compliment. It's cool, yeah. I've just been gigging a lot and they heard, they, they liked what they heard and, and offered me a deal. So you've had um, quite a few EPs released. Your latest one is Walking Woman. Unbelievable. I heard Walking Woman, the first 10 seconds I fell in love. For, for some reason, I feel like that song kind of reminded me of a combination of Johnny Cash and Priscilla Ann, if you know. 
Priscilla Ann, you have to check her out. She's really nice. She's got a very soft kind of like lullaby voice, but you also had that harsh part of Johnny Cash. I don't know how to explain it. It just, I feel like your music has that raw country vintage feel. I'm just throwing out a lot of words there, but it's so great. And um, I know that there's a story behind Walking Woman where you wrote that. What's that story about? Um, it's sort of um, me moving from Blackpool to London and sort of knowing what I want now uh, and having to sort of leave everything behind and concentrate on what I think is the most important thing, my music. What would you say, a bit of a random question, but what would be your dream collaboration? And it can be an artist dead or alive. I, I've just been tempted to ask you that because Okay, modern. Oh no, I've got loads. I've got, okay, Fle Fleetwood Mac, definitely. Three, okay, three. Fleetwood Mac, love it. Um, Joni Mitchell. And then current, Dallas Green. I was gonna say, you, all, you that guitar and just your voice reminds me of Dallas Green. <sighs> he really is, isn't he? He's amazing, city and color. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna go and see him when he's over here? I didn't even know he was coming. Next year. So what's the best experience do you think you've gotten out of these coffee house sessions so far? Well, it's just great, like playing my own songs to to loads of people, loads of students, you know. I was just I was a student just a bit ago. Um, and I love I love like the fact that I can do that and have people listen to me. Um, two gigs a day. Hopefully by the end of it, I'll make my songs back to the front. <laughs> so I want to know what's like the bigger picture for Stephanie after this? Um, I, well, after this tour, I'll go back to London. It's my 21st. Oh, happy birthday. It's going to be my 20th. Yeah, I know. I'm still going to have a little bit of a party, <laughs> invite some friends from back home. And then just, um, I think I've got some gigs in Scotland coming up. And then um, for the new year, release a single and then my album. Well, thank you so much for being here today and you just blew us away with your performance. Thank you.